Hi, I'm going to show you how to visualize a tree map in Python and why this might be a slightly better choice than using a pie chart. So let's take a look at a pie chart. So we can see the pie chart here has, you know, the categories. It's kind of difficult to discern. We can definitely see by the size that United Kingdom is the highest in proportion but when we get to the smaller levels it gets a little bit more difficult but when we get to this tree map we can see the same amount of information a little bit better and we can understand the differences in the size categories so let me take you through the code and show you how you can quickly put these together and stylize so I'm gonna go back up to the top of the notebook so I'm loading in the essential libraries I'm loading in matplotlib.pyplot as plt I'm importing Seaborn, saving it as a varium SNS. I'm importing Folium, but I don't think I need it. And I'm importing Squareify. So you can see what we're doing for the next step. We're going to load in the tips data set using the Seaborn variable SNS, and we're going to save it as a variable DF. We can look at the head of the data, which has all our categories and numerical columns. What I'm going to do is because we creating tree maps and pie plots which deal with categories I'm going to isolate the category for day using the value counts function and what's that going to give me it's going to give me an index in values then what we can do we can pass that to the variable that we're looking for which is y or any variable you think and that's why it's printed out and then I use a squareify plot to create my tree map. So squareify.plot brings in uh, the function. We can use sizes, pass in y.values for our sizes. And you can see that here. And then we can pass in for our label, the index here. And as you see, this is um, kind of randomized by colors, but I'll show you how to stylize this in one second. And I've also taken off the axis just to get a better look so we don't have the numerical axis on X and Y. We're going to do the same thing where we're going to bring in the diamond data set from Seaborn using the load data set function, saving it as a variable DF. We can take a look at the head of the data and we are going to isolate the clarity category. I'm just passing in Y, which is DF dot clarity dot value counts that's going to give me my value counts with the index with the categories I'm doing the same thing by using the squareify plot getting the sizes and passing in the label with the index taking off the axis now what we can do to control the colors in we can use the color parameter so I'm going to show you how to do that I'm just going to paste in the colors and these are just random colors. You can definitely make these to anything you want. They need to match the amount of categories you have here. So I'm going to run that for you. And you can see we have control over the particular colors in the category. So you can really isolate what you want to show the difference. One way to do this, which would be very nice to show the differences in colors, so you can see once we pass in that color, we can also pass in the alpha to get a little bit different look in terms of our category colors and the background in terms of the alpha, which is a transparency. Next, I'm going to move on to a new data set, which is the e-commerce data set. I'm going to isolate the countries as my grouping. I'm going to take the top 10 countries. I'm going to create that grouping and make sure I only bring in the 10 with the head value. Then what I'm going to do is stylize this a bit more so I can bring in the size. So I'm using plt.figure.figsize to bring in uh, a larger figure here. And I'm also using the font size to ensure that I have a bigger font. I'm taking off the axis, but we can go one step further by passing in the percentages here. So what I am going to do is I am going to normalize my grouping and just to show you what that looks like. 
we can see we have normalized by passing in the normalized parameter and that gives us the percentages then what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new label by taking my values and adding it to the category label and the way I'm doing that is with string comprehension so what I'm doing is I'm taking the string getting the percentage for each one of the values and then that what I'm doing is now making a list of the index plus the new percentages here then all I need to do is go back I can add my background add my font size add my figure size and then within the squareify plot I can just for sizes keep my values but labels I can use my new label variable here to pass in the particular percentages so that's just a quick and easy way for you to have an option to use a tree map instead of a pie chart thank you